What's going on? How are you guys today? Another beautiful Monday morning in New York City. It smells like dope and sewage, but nothing new. Uh, I feel like I got hit in the head with a baseball bat, so I'm gonna eat some chocolate, destroy my adrenals with caffeine, and see if I feel a little better. So we got some organic dark chocolate with almonds. Uh, I mean, I usually get acne and break out when I eat chocolate, but if it gets me through a couple hours of work, it gets me through a couple hours of work. Got something new to try, some dehydrated apples for some fiber, and then the usual crappy Whole Foods jerky, which might be the last week we're eating this because our dehydrator is in New York and the customs are paid. So $2,500 later and the dehydrator is available for delivery. I might have to spend another 500 on a forklift and I might do that just to be safe uh, so I can move it around. And I mean, that, that's the reason I'm titling this video, <laughs> I'm tired of making other people money because you know, I'm sitting here every day killing myself and all of these other businesses are doing great, but you know, I'm not getting deals on anything. I'm getting screwed over by basically everyone. And, and to me, it's kind of silly or stupid that anytime I have to import something into the United States, hire a contractor I'm getting jerked around for hundreds if not thousands of dollars and you know something of the sort has happened every week for the past you know five six months now where I'm just spending all my profit on keeping the business going so I don't know uh, let me eat this and then I have to hop in the freezer and do some orders which I'm not looking forward to freezing my balls off as usual but that's a regular on Monday at least I don't have to spend uh, every day in the freezer anymore uh, but we do have uh, a few products to show you guys that are new this week. Uh, we got the goat organs back in stock, some goat liver, a lot of goat heart and kidney. Uh, we have the two enzyme blends officially labeled. I'll show you guys that. And we might have some water kefir back in stock. I'll show you guys that as well. The guys have already finished the orders for last week. It's, it's only noon. So I'm going to have them fill the rest of the orders in the freezer. Uh, I taught them how to do that. And then uh, they'll just do the rest of the order for today. The volume's a little lower. Uh, you know, I said two weeks ago, I'm, I'm ready to destroy my liver with vodka and Russian girls. So I'm not really pushing that many sales. But, but today, this week, we got a lot of stuff back in stock. So let me show you guys what's going on in the freezer and maybe we'll even uh, push some best bars. So we got oxtail back in stock. It's not really that popular right now in the summer, but people are still ordering it, so I have to get it. We got plenty of the whole short rib back in stock. Uh, which is pretty affordable. It's around uh, $15 a pound for 100% grass-fed, grass-finished short rib, which is a really nice fatty cut. Uh, we've done several videos cooking this. We got the flat iron and bavette steaks back in stock. Uh, this is a bavette, which is also referred to as flat meat. Nice four ounce portion. Same with the flat iron steaks. Nice four ounce portion. If you guys haven't tried these out, very affordable. I think they're around $4 each. Uh, plenty of ground venison. You guys have been buying the ground venison. Not so much the other stuff. And I think I'm actually going to discontinue the wild boar, uh, which I believe I've also said a couple weeks ago, but I think it's going to happen this week. Uh, way too much hanger steak for you guys. And the way it came in, I just decided to keep it as like two pound portions instead of cutting it into one, which is a little big, but we'll roll with it for a little while. So you got all this hanger steak here. Way too much lamb. Might have to do some type of liquidation, but we're not that big, so it's hard. Still doing the 8515 ground beef promo where you get two of these for free with every order. I think this is going to be the last week of this, and then we'll give away the best bars. Now, I mentioned we got too many goat organs. So we got goat kidneys, goat heart, and a small amount of goat liver, all in one pound packages. And here, which I have even more of, is a lamb kidney and lamb heart way too much i think i got like uh five six hundred pounds of each lamb stew meat we're going through we got the lamb fat back in stock lamb brains which you guys are really like plenty of beef trim fat here and the other major thing back in stock this week is the bone in prime rib roast uh, we have this available in four through seven pound portions i believe although most of them are around five five and a half pounds each uh, beef kidney is uh, the only beef organ we have left really a uh, very limited amount of beef liver I gotta get rid of this one you know there, there's a big cost um, I probably lost maybe ten twenty thousand dollars I haven't even kept track of just meat that hasn't been sealed properly that came in was 
issues with it. And other companies like will send this stuff out like this and, and people don't even complain when they receive it, but not good enough for me. And I showed you guys this the other week too. Uh, we got the beef tendons back. And uh, I don't know how many of you guys order this, but we've been out of stock for a couple months now. It finally came in this week. Uh, this is the Iberico pork rib rack, which is a uh, ribeye cut. Pretty tasty, nice. Oh, and we do have the sturgeon caviar back in stock, one ounce portions. I mean, I've been wanting to discontinue the caviar and even the salmon roe, but you guys just keep ordering it and ordering it and ordering it. So I will keep it for now. And, and you know, the whole point of Frankie Sea Range meat is high quality animal foods that are affordable. But look, again, if you guys are gonna buy it, I'll sell it. And yeah, like one ounce of caviar for $30 is, is really, really low pricing for caviar. And it's still a pretty high quality product, but the higher, higher end stuff, that's like two, 300 an ounce. I don't think we're ever gonna do that. And hopefully when we get the farm slaughterhouse in the near future, then we're just, you know, eliminating all kind of outside source products, at least for the time being. I'm gonna do the Frankie Sea Range foods orders, the organ supplements orders, and I gotta decide on whether or not I wanna make some products for Frankie's Naturals that might take an hour or two. Uh, that's the main thing I've been trying to get done last week and this week I've been procrastinating, procrastinating, procrastinating. I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier. A lot of you guys are asking when the water keeper is gonna be back in stock. I should have some today and then maybe by the end of this week, early next week, we have like a full production going of 30 or 40 bottles per week. If that dehydrator does come in this week, uh, I'll definitely start experimenting and we should be able to do at least jerky immediately, uh, possibly pemmican and some other dried products. So I'm kind of excited for that. Uh, we do have a kind of secret film uh, culinary project that I've been working on, debating on launching it or not, a separate YouTube channel. But it would definitely tie in with promoting the meat stuff. Although I don't want to really do it yet because I'm not really able to provide a super high quality product, but uh, I'll know that for sure in the next week or two. So look, a lot of, a lot of exciting stuff and, and things that are kind of keeping me going that I'm looking forward to, product launches, new stuff. Uh, so definitely stick it out a little while longer. So I got the orders ready for these guys to do in the freezer. And as much as I would like to multiply myself into 15 different people and do every individual thing on my own, it's just not feasible. And especially, you know, with my health, lack of sleep, the liver damage over the past two years, you know, it's helped a lot that I've just, you know, taken a step back, uh, trained some guys to do everything, especially, you know, if I do end up getting the slaughterhouse, I basically need both operations to run on their own. And then I can focus on the things that are important for the YouTube channel and the promotion of the business, which I will be more heavily involved in once the slaughterhouse is actually up and running. I'm basically, you know, the marketing, the web development, the creative, all that stuff. I shouldn't have to actually be down here doing anything. And getting these guys to do this stuff, like pick the orders in the freezer, show them how to do all the other orders. It's just making me more and more comfortable with uh, expanding the business and doing more and more things. Although, you know, only having, you know, two guys working for me, I'm definitely not nearly at that point yet. Uh, if you guys are wondering what kind of boss I am, I'm probably way too laid back. You know, I let these guys um, take however long they want for lunch. I've never yelled at them if they make a mistake. It's just like, oh, whatever, it's all right. It's only X amount of money. Let's just fix it and make sure it doesn't happen again. So, you know, on one hand, I feel like, you know, how many people run a business like that? Probably not that many. Right now, since I only have two guys working for me, it, it's definitely more manageable. But, I, you know, I don't want them to be stressed or anxious or, or have to worry about any component of their job. I just let them do their own thing. And if the work gets done, the work gets done. I've never had an issue with things not getting done. But uh, let, me, let me do some orders and stop talking to you guys so I can get some work done myself. All right, we only had about 10 foods orders today, but I'll just give you guys a product update. So all the best bars are in stock. I did have to get uh, clear bags because the white ones were out of stock. I don't know, I'm kind of indifferent. These are kind of cool too. Uh, you get to see the color of the bar on the outside. Of course, we have the water key for grains available. Water key for should be available today, as I said. We got the whey protein available, 100% grass-fed, grass-finished in three-pound bags. And both of the salts are back in stock. We have the Peruvian pink salt, and we have the Bolivian rose salt. I think we're just going to have the Bolivian rose salt moving forward. 
It's just a minimally polluted land salt. So I introduced you guys to my enzyme blend maybe two weeks ago now, but we have the official labels in and fresh products. So this is the macronutrient enzyme blend, which is what I was showing you guys. If you have a balanced meal of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, this is what you want. It's the pure powder, no fillers, no additives, no low quality capsules that'll make you feel crappy. And if you want to get this amount of pure enzyme, you're going to have to pay two or three times the price anywhere else. You know, one teaspoon of this with any meal is going to digest everything. And I know a lot of you guys are still on the carnivore diet. So I made a carnivore enzyme blend, which has the components of the macronutrient enzyme blend, except without the carbohydrates. And that makes it a lot more expensive because you know, the amylase, the carbohydrate digesting enzyme is much more affordable than the protein or fat digesting enzymes the pepsin, trypsin, chymotrypsin, and lipase. So if you are carnivore, you're having digestive issues, this is really good and also incredibly important because having undigested protein in your digestive tract is, is worse than having fats or carbohydrates in there. So definitely try this out if you guys are still carnivore and let me know what you think. And uh, I was getting headaches every day until I started using magnesium oil actually. I guess I had a really severe magnesium deficiency. So although my sleep hasn't been getting better. The uh, headaches have ceased. So try this out as well if you guys haven't. Uh, but we have all the orders done for Frankie's Range Foods and Organ Supplements. So I think I'm just gonna get some stuff ready uh, to make those products for tomorrow. And I'll give you guys an update on the other businesses. So Frankie's Naturals, nothing to really talk about today. Wi-Fi shielding, a lot of you guys have been asking. I do have the silver fabric hopefully coming in uh, this week or next week and then I'll get it to my tailor maybe by you know the middle end of the month we have the clothing back in stock but we still have you know some of the more important components so we have the bed canopies as well as the head covers uh, which I actually have to grab a couple of to wear in my car and home I gave some of them away as gifts uh, one thing I forgot to mention with the Frankie Syringe Foods was you know we have ran out of nature's glucose product and I don't foresee having it for a while. However, I do have another glucose product coming in that was shipped. It's marked to arrive by the middle of this month. So I think we will have a new glucose product for you guys very, very soon. And then uh, full steam ahead. Hopefully just get more stuff in stock, get all the products I can and uh, keep you guys as happy and healthy as I can. So I guess let's hop back upstairs and uh, wrap this up. So this is all the post office stuff. It's not really that much, but I did come in yesterday on Sunday to get most of the orders uh, for the latter part of last week done. So the guy will pick it up before UPS and then uh, that'll be our Monday. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you have any questions about you know, what's going on, any of the products, anything you guys would like me to get you, please let me know. Uh, maybe I'll do an update on the uh, slaughterhouse, what's going on with the paperwork and loans sometime next week. But outside of that, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank com to check out all of my businesses, Frankie's Syringe Meat, Frankie's Syringe Foods, Frankie's Naturals, Organ Supplements, and Wi-Fi Shielding. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.